Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today I'm gonna to be harvesting these baby bell radishes, or it might be called cherry bell. I keep calling them baby bell. I think they're cherry bell radishes. Anyway, the bell radishes. And when I planted this bed, I already harvested the French breakfast right here. Um, and they were a little small, even though it had been like over 30 days. When I planted these, it was November 25th. Now it is January 1st. So we're talking, I think that's like 35 days. So I'm not sure what is gonna happen here, if we're gonna get any good size or not. It does seem like they're growing a little slower, but it is time to harvest. I don't want them to go too long and get too big and too woody. And also the longer they're on the ground, the spicier they get, I hear. And I like spicy radishes, the family doesn't. So I don't wanna pick them and no one be able to eat them. So today we're gonna go ahead and harvest them. I'll bring you guys in, you can see what I'm doing. I've got my trusty colander here. This is what I use to harvest because then I can just hose them out afterwards. Let's pull them up. Ooh, looks like, well, that one's real small. That's okay, I'm gonna get some small ones. I had a bunch kinda, I didn't thin them out as, as much as I probably should have. So that's okay. That one's not bad. It's not all lost here because these little ones that I'm not gonna eat go to the chickens as well as the, the radish tops. My chickens love them. Um, we're not a fan of them personally, so I actually like them, the family doesn't, but at least these don't go to waste. You can definitely eat the tops of radish. They're pretty good. I like them in salads a lot, but hard to get the family to eat the salad when it's in it because they don't like it. So that's a decent one too. Ooh, got two right in a row that are decent. And this one, there we go. That's what it should look like. That's a good one right there, guys. Got two really good ones right there. Well, one really good one, a decent one. Decent little harvest of radishes. About the same amount that you would get in the grocery store if you bought a clump, which that usually isn't super expensive, so it's not like I saved money here, but I do like these versions better. These cherry bells are much less spicy than the radishes, the little round radishes you get in the store, and they've got a really good flavor, so plus it's much healthier to grow it at home, so I'm pretty happy with that, but take a look at that versus, so this is what I'm keeping, this is what I'm not keeping. So I would say about half of them turned out edible and the other half were going to the chickens. Now I did overplant, so that could be it. Maybe they were too close together. I'm not hundred percent sure, but unfortunately I didn't get a huge harvest. It seems like this bed is just not producing too many, but I did grow everything really close together. I was trying to maximize the space. Maybe I grew them too close together. I mean, you live, you learn. Maybe that's the issue. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and break the tops off of these. I'm gonna feed everything to the chickens besides the ones I'm keeping. And the chickens are happy. This is like their favorite food. The sky is falling! They love radish greens. There we go, guys. That's the harvest. Not a whole lot, but hey. It's free and it's organic and it's really good to eat. So that opened this up to allow these carrots now to get a little more sunlight because these were growing a little bigger um, around them. And I do have quite a bit different root veggies in here. Unfortunately, I think I'm realizing I did plant them way too close together. I've got maybe an inch and a half to two inches from the carrots to the beets. That's not enough space. I don't know what I was thinking when I planted this bed. What are you, stupid? But hey, you live, you learn, and you do a, a different next year, right? So I might have to decide what I'm going to keep in this bed, if it's going to be the carrots, or it's going to be the beets, or it's going to be the radish. I might have to pull a couple of these rows and just decide what I'm going to keep. If you guys are interested in seeing me plant this bed, I actually did put a video up, and I'll link that video in the description section. Also, at the end of the video, it should show up right around here, and you can watch me plant this bed out. Uh, like I said, it's way too close together i don't think that's going to work but if you like this kind of content please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me in the channel out and i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind